Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to a kind of a brisk feeling 56 degree uh, Wednesday, the 14th of June. It's beautiful though. It's very peaceful out here. It usually is in the morning. <laughs> Sometimes you get up here and all the log trucks for the morning are going up to, to get their runs. So it sounds, you know, like a busy highway out there. But uh, it's just been very peaceful. They probably took all the trees. There's none left. There's some desert out there going towards Mount St. Helens. <laughs> but anyway, starting off a wonderful day. So uh, let's uh, let's roll out. Well, Mama, that Jeep right there, he must have 50 feet of chain holding the exhaust. Holding the exhaust. Oh, I mean, from the header all the way back. That was the craziest thing I've ever I seen. Know. Front door, yeah, though. got no doors. <laughs> the I rat, mean, rat rod. Yeah, better walking. And the the dome open today. Yeah, Haven't done that in light. a long time. <laughs> it's bright in here. It it's is crazy. Oh, that's easy. Yep. Mm. Anyway, Mama, we made it to Hump Day. We did. How about that? Yeah, we're halfway through. Heck yeah. Alrighty. Oh, I'm gonna get down there and do my thing. You go up. Your area, do your thing. All right, we'll get her done. And That's a cool the pro caliber thing. Huh? I guess I've seen that before. Yeah. On you. Patriotic. Yes. <laughs> All right, Mama. Have All yourself right. a wonderful Wednesday. You too, Papa. Uh, All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye. Bye now. Bye. All right. We're gonna start from a fresh key cycle here. I'll explain the meaning of this in a minute. So one of the, and we get complaints from this all the time, I wish they would just simply take the thing out of here. I had, what, three or four of these TFT GSAs, GS, GSAs, whatever it's been, and all of them do the same thing. So there's, uh, for the people that are too lazy to, uh, Look down on the right hand side of your bike and see that you have the right oil level in it. There is a feature. It's an electronic oil level check. Well, the parameters to meet the requirements of that is absolutely nuts. Em engine temperature, which it doesn't tell you engine temperature. You can only see it. In diagnostic there is no engine temperature they can give you coolant temperature and they say no do not confuse coolant temperature with engine temperature so anyway pretty easy to get the engine to temp I think it's 80 degrees Celsius Celsius uh, I mean you can let it sit there and idle for a little bit and probably get close to that man what has he got a suspension set at here but um Anyway, um, engine temperature, uh, the bike has to be, you can't have it on the side stand or center stand, and you can't lean more than two degrees. The bike has to be perfectly level within two degrees. And see the little, right in the middle of the front axle there, you see a white little oil container sitting there? And then to the right of it, you see three dashes. Well, when all parameters are set, it'll simply say, okay. It doesn't tell you, like the, you know, Harleys tell you oil pressure and stuff like that. Keyword used to show it. With my 2016, um, was that 2017? 2016 Street Glide Special, the first year of the M8. It switched to not telling you oil pressure, but just simply showing a uh, okay. <laughs> so this is kind of doing the same thing, and this is a level, oil level. It's electronic courtesy. So if you're too lazy when you stop getting gas or whatever intervals you check your oil level, too lazy to hold the bike upright, look in that window see the oil level is right 
if you meet all these parameters this will say okay every once in a while and I don't know how long this guy's had this thing probably a long time <laughs> suddenly discovered that that light that the icon is white and it has three dashes see everything else that's been met like tire pressure monitors and battery fuel um, coolant temperature they turn green and um, yeah this just 90% of the time you're gonna see a white oil container in three dashes it is I mean literally rub your belly pat your head stand on your left foot say a prayer there's a, about a hundred parameters so I found that thing again going into air and uh, found the literature on it on what all's got to be met it's like an impossibility and the owner's manual if you look at it it says all it's, it makes it very simple it says the engine has to be up the temperature not coolant engine has to be up the temperature which you have no way of knowing that it's at that temperature you can just assume it's over 80 degrees celsius because the coolant's at one, 179 the engine's somewhere in there you know <laughs> but uh anyway it says let idle on level ground no no stand side or center center and you got to do it within a key cycle that's why i had it out there running to warm it up and uh until i heard the fan cycle a couple of times what has he got this digging into my leg oh he's got a seat in a weird position I think it's got kicked up in the front. It's like digging into me. Or is there something down there? Well, he's got like a tank bag strap, but that's not what hit, what's hitting me. So, this looks pretty level to me. And the thing in air says to weight around 20 oh it's got to be a neutral oh dang it hate that these got to be the slippiest most slippy transmissions ever well now i just restarted that probably threw it off and the fact that it jolted they said that the i the imu determines whether you're at the right position or not so if you're sitting there and the wind's blustering around the IMU sees the bike moving around. It's never going to say the oil level's okay. And that jolt of letting the clutch go, because I thought it was in neutral. And um, I'm sure that just threw it off. So anyway, putting it on the center stand, the IMU sees that movement and it kicks it out in that key cycle which I'm sure I just achieved that right then by letting the bike jolt itself like that. It's a convenience thing, dude. Look at your oil window. It needs to have its battery checked. That's uh, twice I got a kind of hesitant start there. That's what my Harley was doing. And even though technically the battery was testing good, even the health side of it was testing good, uh, so, okay, it's 10 years. I know those Excite batteries that are rebadged Harley on there are really good and they last a long time if you take reasonable care of them. Um, 10 years is pushing it. <laughs> so you can't have I think it says you can't have the brakes applied either. That kind of forces you to be on level ground, doesn't it? At least, you know, front to rear. But it's conflicting. The owner's manual says 10 seconds. The uh, bulletin on it says 20 seconds. I don't know. There's always something I do wrong. It's every once in a blue moon. In fact, I'll like on trips and stuff is usually when I'll finally catch it in the parameter where it's working. 
I go, look, I'll scream it over the headset. Somebody says, what? I said, it says the oil price, oil level's okay. They're all like, huh? <laughs> it never shows up. Look how filled in it is down here. This looks beautiful. Don't see my boy out roaming around. That gum, that air nailer, that thing. I thought someone was taking a, a pot shot at me. You guys ever see those nailers that what use what looks like a 22 um, long rifle blank cartridge? Let's see if we can sit here and make no movement. No wind, no movement, no brakes, no stands. I've actually got it to come on on the bench on the center stand. There it goes. I'm gonna record this right quick. I'll be uh, I'll be right back. All right, so I did a little video clip. It's green and says okay. When I dumped that clutch, then uh, it was it was probably never gonna come on in that cycle. And the bullet is this full page thing about this thing. Please BMW, if you're paying attention. Make it explicit in the manual that it's uh, number one. This is most almost impossible. Uh, number two, check your window. Learn how to check your oil, and uh, from there, let them know. The odds of that thing ever coming on is about nil. Within a key cycle, anything you do wrong, you're out. <laughs> And it did, it was, that was probably less than 20 seconds. So, anyway, I met the parameters. Anyway, a beautiful, I don't know what year, Kalamata uh, GSA. So there's a bike trip coming up later in the summer that uh, as I'm riding a BMW, our other BMW tack, so now it's me only he bailed out on us and um yeah so that leaves all a bunch of crazy stuff for me even all the crazy projects that he was in the middle of so i don't know you know what's funny about that he never he put in his two weeks notice and never said a word to me in fact i called him on Monday because he's off on mondays and he was there with a friend or somebody loading that old uh, 450 Nighthawk. I said, oh, did you find somebody to buy it? And he goes, no, just packing up. Well, I didn't catch that phrase correctly or whatever. And uh, so anyway, I, you know, long drive to work, so I go to the bathroom to do your morning thing. Little, little tinkle, old man bladder or whatever you call it. <laughs> And I come walking out and I go, and he's gone. And I go, wait a minute, this toolbox and stuff is gone. And I go, so what happened to, I won't say his name. So, so what happened to my partner down there? He goes, uh, he doesn't work here anymore. Put in his two weeks notice, you, you didn't know this? Come to find out, no one knew other than service advisors and the service manager that uh, the end of his two weeks was up last week so I was sitting watching my grandson's graduation he was working his last day he's got that suspension set so soft it's bouncing like a pogo stick but I don't want to mess with it you may like it this way I mean literally it's just I do that when I go down the freeway but where does he have a suspension set at? Road minimum. Yeah, that's that's absolutely as soft as it'll go. I don't know what he's got in his bags, but it's just the whole thing's just roaring, roaring. Your feet are coming up and off the ground. <laughs> makes you feel <laughs> makes you feel like a rookie when you're driving these things. 
But for freeway cruising, holy moly, is she comfortable. Let's go through our little notch back here. And for some reason, when it sets off like that, it actually, it makes the bike feel heavier and more laborsome. That being said, though, if you get in some really tricky stuff and you need good foot, which you gotta be very careful when you're walking with the bike, best thing is feet on the pegs, gun it. But if you have to pedal paddle your feet on the ground, um, you put it in that road, road minimum and it sinks the, the bike so low that you can get good contact with you with your little feeties. Look they painted the back of the building. I see people going in and out of that place which I haven't seen before. People parking in the parking lot which I definitely seen before. <laughs> As of late. That's cool. She's all gray. I'm looping around here. I don't know what's going on there at the street, but that truck's trying to take a left, and um, I think that might almost be impossible to take a left out of there. Not unless you're on a motorcycle and you can scoot quick and fast and get out of there. But I really like the gray of that building. That looks cool. I wonder if we can do the other buildings that same color. We'll do top side. We came close on the bottom. So if you have a GS or GSA with a TFT, I think the uh, RTs uh, probably have the same thing. How often can you get your oil level light to say okay? And do you have to fight it? It's so hard to get these things in neutral because the transmission is literally the slipperiest thing ever, which is great. <laughs> anyway love these GSAs so uh, that's that thanks for coming along for the ride always fun on a GSA well hello there YouTube man that didn't do me any good came home and well I got the front lawns done I'll work on all the back tomorrow but man there's a lot of dust in there yes now we're all sneezing yeah I'll stuffy. be sneezing the rest of the night a fever medicine just doesn't have a chance against no. lawn mowing and all that dust. There's too much in there. <laughs> but uh, plus, I, you know, I got the bags back on it, so the dust comes from the bags and that floats around you, you when it picks all that dust up. But anyway, it's a good day. I'm riding on a GSA, as always. Came home and did the front lawns. Spent 20 minutes out here. Goofing around with Kelly's F-150. Sasha. Annie. Annie. All the Danny and... Annie. Sorry. If you got dogs, I'm really sorry. Yes. <laughs> or maybe they like it. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to call it on that. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Thursday or Friday. Heck yeah. All right. We'll see you in the morning. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.